Welcome, one and all, to the thrilling continuation of Horror in Space! I've received multiple calls from clever listeners claiming to have solved the mystery. Were any of them correct? Who do you think it is? Sit back with your favorite choice of beverage as we take you back to a lost sector of space to see if our crew can suss out the culprit. Or if they meet their untimely demise at the hands of the imposter. Ah, the siren stopped. I guess we ain't gonna die after all. Thank. Things are getting out of hand. Maybe I can just sit in here. I've got... Five left. Oh. There you go, Amber. Here I am. Exactly where you want me. It appears that Miss Violet has taken considerable damage to the thoracic cage and vertebrae. She's dead, White. Just say it, she's dead. You are correct. I, Dr. White, Chief Medical Officer of the Scout, pronounce Violet. Enough with the formalities! It's not like it matters anyway. Very well. We shall now commence with the autopsy. Never thought I'd watch two of my crewmates get cut to bits on my own med table. We are not cuts, Captain. We are incisions. Did Violet communicate anything to you before she died? I swear she pointed at the vent cover. Hmm. It is likely the case that Miss Violet's assailant retreated into the vent before you arrived. After all, I have not seen anyone pass by outside the med bay, and you did not run into anyone on your way to the reactor, no? No way anyone could fit in those. You have to be almost half your size, but it's all we got. We follow the vents. Whoever's on the other end of them, dies. Perhaps it would be wise to interrogate said individual before commencing with an execution, Captain. There is still much we don't Every know. Every second we spend deliberating is another second for that scoundrel to kill more of us. Do you want a third body on that table or not? Or are you looking to make another body for it? Killing crewmates would violate my directive, Captain. Above all else, we know harm. Hmm. Hmm. How unusual. It appears that foreign matter has entered Miss Violet's body. Now beginning a blood test to identify foreign material. Captain, this analysis should not take too long. In the meantime, I suggest you investigate the reactor in order to gather information about the killer. Events may be questionable, but we should explore every lead available to us. Captain, please refrain from killing anyone you find during your investigation. Rose, you're the only person alive who might have a diagram of the ship's vent systems. I need help with my investigation. Come with me. Did, did, did someone else? Die? Yes, Violet. Do you or Amber want to be next? Or do you want to help me stop the killer? I... Sorry, this is a lot to take in. I'll help. Where do we start? Reactor. All we know is that Violet pointed to the vent cover there before she died. So we're going to follow it to the culprit and end this once and for all. Captain, I have completed the sample and found trace elements of cigarette nicotine. Nicotine? And an unidentifiable element. Who the shot is smoking on my ship? The use of tobacco products is strictly prohibited in the crewmate manual, Captain. 
the chemicals from tobacco products clogged the oxygen filter, suffocating all crewmates as a result. I'm well aware. Let's hurry to the reactor. We end this now. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news. President Victor Shaw is expected to address the nation tonight regarding what is now being called the Skeld Crisis. One week ago, NASA lost contact with a crew of astronauts bringing home precious resources from a distant planet. The FBI has been investigating whether this crisis was accidental or a Soviet plot. More on this at seven. Horror in space is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to real world people or events is entirely coincidental. Ongoing Space Race Incorporated does not necessarily reflect the views of the cast and crew. Now, back to our scheduled programming. This is the spot that Violet pointed to. All right. Well, since Miss Mittens loves the vents and follows smells, we send her in with this tracker on. Follow where she goes. Bob's your uncle called Profound. <laughs> is that really going to work? What cat likes the smell of cigarette smoke? Maybe she thinks it smells like smoked salmon. If cigarettes smell like smoked salmon, this ship smells like a strawberry field. Look, do you have any better plan? All right, Miss Mittens, it's your time to shine. And there she is, following her through electrical storage, piloting, and the utility closet. She stopped? That must be the source of the smoke. Shaw, I'm out. Now what am I gonna do? Hey there, Missy. What you doing? <laughs> Snack time, huh? All right, keep this between you and me. You know, you're the only thing on this ship I can trust, right? I got you now, you son of a- Call! How could you? Captain, please, can you really blame me for lighting up in this situation? You killed my friend! Wait, Redford, no! I, I wouldn't! We, we've known each other for years! I know I'm not the nicest person, but why would I? We take a vote. If the majority agrees, we launch you out of the airlock and go home safe. Redford, at least let me- Get off me, you little- Rose! Rose, get your cat off me! Find her! Mm. <laughs> Cole? No. There's no way. Captain, it can't be him. He's crass, but he's not a murderer. It, it has to be Amber, or, or, or maybe Dr. White is malfunctioning, please. You will have your chance to vote at the meeting. Thank you all for coming. Since we last met, we've lost another crewmate. Violet was attacked during the reactor meltdown while she was trying to save us all. However, thanks to her sacrifice, we were able to identify the killer, Cole. As captain of the Skeld, I hereby charge you with the murders of Hazel and Violet. Cole, oh, how could you? I didn't do a thing, I swear. I just go into the closet sometimes when I need to take the edge off. It doesn't mean anything, and we haven't even looked into you and Rose. Quiet, Dr. White. Present the results of Violet's autopsy. Certainly. After analyzing Miss Violet, I have concluded that she died due to repeated lacerations to the thoracic cage. Additionally, I found trace samples of nicotine on the remains, which indicates the killer handles tobacco products. In short, it is highly likely that Mr. Cole is the killer. I know how it looks, but please hear me out. I never went to the reactor. I've been hiding in that closet because I was afraid I'd end up dead if I didn't. I smoked, can you blame me? It would make sense that some particles ended up in the body of anyone near the vent. Which leads us to our next piece of evidence. As Violet died, she pointed towards the vent grates in the reactor. Sure enough, the grate showed signs of displacement, which led us to search the vents. Rose, describe how we tracked down coal. Miss Mittens has been known to be attracted to cigarette smoke, so we sent her into the vents from the point of the murder and tracked her progress through. It led us to the utility closet where we found Cole hiding. A, a human can't even fit through those vents. Please, listen to yourselves! Scrawny as you are, 
you could have done it. We will be putting this to a vote. If the majority agrees, we will be ejecting Cole through the airlock. If not, he will be imprisoned and guarded at all times until we reach home, or he will be turned over to the necessary authorities for questioning. Captain Redford, this, this is messed up. We, we can't kill Cole. I mean, I mean, yeah, he's annoying, but he's one of us. Let, let's just lock him up in this utility closet and leave it at that. That is a dangerous suggestion, Miss Amber. Given the killer's ability to navigate through the ventilation system, Cole would likely escape and continue killing. I, I don't like this. I don't want to believe it either, but we have no other options. If we don't act now, we'll all be dead before we can even sleep. I vote to eject. Killing Cole is the safest course of action. I, too, vote to eject. Guys, please don't do this! I don't want to die! Amber Redford, please! I'm begging you! You should have thought about that before you started killing your friends! Captain. I vote to eject as well. Please. With that, it is decided. Cole will be ejected, and this nightmare will be over. No! I don't want to die! Amber, help! Amber! Amber, help me! I you can't gotta help stop you, them! I don't want to die! Shut up! Please! I don't Beginning die. airlock In cycle. Three. No, please! Two. No. Wait! One. Wait! And good riddance. I'll be returning to the lab now. Rose, you still have not visited the lab to receive your allergy medication or to treat your electrical burn. Please stop by at your earliest convenience. I'll be waiting. Hey, Amber. You have a moment? Yeah. Sorry, that was just... a lot. Back in the cafeteria, things got heated, and I said some things I shouldn't have. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I was on edge, and I didn't know who I could trust. It's all right. I think I'm getting a new job after this. <laughs> Want to share tea tonight? I'm sorry, but I'm beat. I'm going to take a nap back in the crew's quarters. But wake me up when you're ready. Sounds good. Okay, everyone. I have brought you all here one more time to hold a brief vigil to our fallen friends. We've all known Hazel for many years, and she stuck with us through the best and the worst of times. We only knew Violet for a few weeks, but in what little time we had with her, she showed herself to be a diligent crewmate who brought honor and professionalism to the mercenary field. Though we now know that Cole's true motivation lied elsewhere, I want us to try to remember him for the friend we believed he was rather than the monster he became. Now let us all share a brief moment of silence. Might I query as to the location of Miss Amber? I would think she would like to be here with us. Oh, I was supposed to wake her up. That's my bad, I'll go find her. Dr. White, thank you for being by my side. You kept me sane, if I'm being honest. To remain entirely impartial and logical in all matters aboard this ship, is one of the primary purposes for which I was assigned to this vessel. Though I do believe I made a mistake in failing to mention that I did notice very trace elements of another material in Miss Violet's body. Some sort of extraterrestrial microbe. We encounter alien bacteria all the time. That's hardly something to be worried about. I came to a similar conclusion initially. However, as I was disposing of Miss Violet's body, I decided to perform another blood test. The results were alarming. It appears the alien microbe was bonding to the musculature and multiplying. How long ago did you learn this? Not soon enough, I fear. <laughs> Rose! Rose! What's gone? Rose, did you- No, no. No, 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 I, I could never. Please, please don't. I'm sorry. I wish I could trust you, but I must detain you for questioning. Uh, okay, but you have to understand. Uh, how could I ever do that when I've already lost my friends? White, you know the drill. Analyze the body. I will not lose another person. Not that there's much of a body left to analyze. What could drive you to commit such a gruesome deed? Mr. How could I have done this? I went straight from storage to the meeting. I wouldn't have time to touch her. Nonetheless, do 
this, there has to be something in this ship. I don't think it even is one of us. Oh, God, Cole, I'm so sorry. Perhaps. Please, pardon me, but I need to start this autopsy immediately. Our lives may depend on it. Captain, once I finish my work, I will come find you. Until then, remain safe. I'll be in storage with Rose. Please hurry. Right. Strange. Her internal organs seem to have capsized. The direction of collapse is from the inside out. So Rose could not have done this. And hold on. Exactly as I expected. Same microbe, only it's multiplied thousandfold. Oh dear. It seems it truly was too late. Miss Rose, Captain, stay safe. Revealed the culprit unmasked. The killer this entire time has been none other than the unassuming Amber, influenced by an alien force to continue her vicious rampage. Remember to tune in next week to see how and if Rose and Captain Redford can survive and put the imposter to sleep once and for all. I'll see you next week on Horror in Space!